Hey guys, make sure you look down in the description below to find out how to enter into my Road to 1000 subscriber giveaway. We have hit that 1000 subscriber mark, and so we're going to be having a big party real soon, giving away tons of prizes uh, on the live that night, so make sure you pay attention to when that's going to happen as well. And if you're interested in a small town collectibles comic book mystery box, you can find that down in the description as well. Also, a discount code with Street Level Hero LA, STC10. You can get 10% off your order over there and help raise some money for a great cause. What is going on, everybody? It is another beautiful day here in the hills of Eastern Kentucky. And today is Mystery Box Monday, and we're going to open up a $35 comic book mystery box from the Burt Family 54. So let's get started. I'm Jimmy Don Kerr, and this is the Small Town Collectibles YouTube channel. So before we get into opening up this mystery box from the Burke Family 54, I want to ask you if you haven't already, hit that subscription button, turn on that notification bell so that you get notified when I put out new content. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want, leave a comment uh, in the comment section below and let me know what you thought about this box. Okay, so our mystery box this week. It's a $35 comic book mystery box from Burke Family 54 Comics. That's Steve Berkland. Uh, I am a member of the Burke fam. Uh, great uh, community and family to be a part of. Um, really one of the best decisions I've made, you know, as far as getting to know people in the community. And Steve is, a, is just a phenomenal, phenomenal guy. And he was chasing a grill. And he was trying to put the money together for it, so he decided to put together some boxes. Um, he posted it in our uh, Burke fam chat, and I jumped on one because more than happy to help somebody uh, you know, chase down a grill and raise some money for a grill. Um, not to mention uh, a guy like Steve, who's one of the best people I've met in this community. So, all right, so now this box, I've actually already opened it, okay? So uh, myself, DJ Lynx, Mark over at Legion of Comics, and uh, Panda over at Panda Awesome 316 actually went live on DJ Lynx's channel Friday night on In The Mix and did a box battle with our boxes. Um, so. You can go over there and watch that. It's about an hour long, but it is hilarious. Like we had a phenomenal, phenomenal time <laughs> opening these boxes. A lot of laughs. I'll be 100% honest with you. Honest with you, I haven't laughed that hard in a long time, and I really kind of needed that. And, and so I had a blast. So pop over to DJ's channel, check that out. You can see all the boxes. But you know what we do on this channel is anytime we buy a mystery box, we're gonna put the person that sold the box on the clock and see value wise how we did versus what we paid. Now, I can tell you that the box came very quickly after I purchased it. It was packed very well. Um, and the, it had one, two, three, four, five books. Uh, and you had the chance at two GPs. One was a Venom, I can't remember the number, 9.8. And the other was a Last Ronin number one. All right, so here are the books that I got. Starting out. You guys can see that, the glare. And that is punchline number one, um, of course, by James Tenyon, uh, variant cover, very nice. Then we had Eat the Rich, number one, and this is cover A, and this was a, uh, a really good read. Like, for a first issue, this one was really good, so I can't wait to, um, to read issue two. Like, I really, really enjoyed this one. Then we have Batman. This is Batman 108, first appearance of Miracle Molly, who is really one of my favorite characters in the new Batman run. Um, from Tenya, there's been a thousand first appearances, but Miracle Molly's been one of my favorites, one I think that can stick. Uh, and this is one of the variant covers. So we'll see if I can tell who the variant cover was. But I can't, can't see it. So there you go, still very cool. And then we've got Spider-Man Miles Morales. And this is part of the Clone Saga. This is a variant of issue number 25. So there you go. And then the last book was Nice House on the Lake, number one. One of the best series from DC right now, the Black Label. And this is the third print. So it looks just like the first print, except you can see... If you read the story, I don't want to give anything away, but how it's kind of burnt around the edges. Kind of goes along with the story, but very, very cool book to get. And I was fortunate enough 
come win one of the GPs. So the GP came uh, basically with a slip of paper, and I won the TMNT, the last Ronin number one cover A. So yeah, so let's just real quickly run back through what we got, and then I'll pop the value, well actually, up here. Uh, put the value up here for you that the, the box actually valued for after valued out. So we got this punchline number one variant cover. Eat the Rich number one, great book if you haven't read it. Batman 108, first appearance of Miracle Molly variant cover. Miles Morales, The Clone Saga, uh, number 25, variant cover. And then Nice House on the Lake, number one, the third printing. And then, of course, I was lucky enough to win one of the GPs, and that was the last Ronin, number one. All right, so how did Burke do on his value? I know, because of this one book, the GP, paid for that, paid for the box. So I know I did well, but let's see how we did. And there you go. So guys, that that was a great mystery box for me. You know, even if I hadn't hit the GP for thirty-five bucks shipped, like that was shipped, thirty-five dollars shipped. I like the box. Um, a lot of DC stuff in there. I'm a DC fan. Some nice variant covers. Uh, that Ether Rich number one, I think, has some potential down the road. So yeah, really pleased with the box. I know I hit value, um, and like I said, couldn't ask for a better guy than Steve Berkland over at Burke Family Fifty Four. If you're not a member of the channel, go over to Steve's YouTube channel, and I'll put a link um, in the description below of all Burke's stuff. But go over, check it out, see what the different uh, tiers are um, for the Burke fam, and consider joining. I, I don't think you'll go wrong. He releases a lot of early content, a lot of spec stuff. Uh, you get a chance at a Burke box every month. I actually won one. I've opened up on here before. Phenomenal value out of that it was free and it was like probably $120, $125 worth of value in that box. So just amazing. But a lot of nice perks. And like I said, you used to get to be part of the community with a bunch of people that you're going to love and that I've grown to be able to call friends. So yeah, Burke Family 54 Comics. Go check out their YouTube channel. Consider becoming part of the Burke fam. And I don't think you can go wrong. All right, so let's wrap this video up. I did hit that thousand subscriber mark. Okay. So make sure you stay on the lookout for the announcement when we're gonna have the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Now, of course, YouTube is bad to purge subs at times, I guess with bots and things like that. So I may wait a few weeks before I do it. I just wanna make sure it holds. Nothing would be worse to have a 1,000 subscriber giveaway and then it be over and then all of a sudden a bunch of subs go away and you're at 990, right? That would suck. So wanna make sure it holds, uh, give it a little bit just to make sure we're good. And then, like I said, we're going to have a massive party, giveaway. God, I don't know. I mean, I really think it's like 25, 30 prizes. I've had other people offer up to give things away. So, yeah, uh, I can't wait to do it and, and give, give back to the community that's given so much to me. And, uh, yeah, it, really exciting um, to hit 1,000 subs. I'm so excited, and I thank you guys so much uh, for your support. Um, I've said it many times. Like, I didn't think I'd hit 100 subs, but the fact that I hit 1,000 blows my mind. And I uh, was really excited about it. And so, yeah, I owe all that to you guys uh, and the community. But, guys, that's it for me. I want to jump off here, quit running my mouth. Uh, thank you for coming and spending a little time with me over here at the channel. And as always in these things, until next time.